Hello, today I'm going to have a look at hypothesis testing on the binomial distribution. I'm going to use the bean machine taken from the website Maths is Fun. You can see the probability that my bean goes left is set to a third, which means the probability that my bean goes right is going to be two thirds. I've got 12 rows. What's going to happen is my bean's going to come out of the machine, it's going to hit a peg, and it's either going to bounce left or right at each peg that it hits, and it's going to find a path down through the pegs, and it's going to end up in one of these cells at the bottom. So if my bean took this path, it would mean that I went left once, right, right, left twice, three times, four times, five times, six times I've gone left, and I've gone right once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. So there's 12 times. There's 12 places where we've got to make a decision, which means that this is a binomial distribution where n is going to be 12 and the probability, I'm going to say going left is a success, so the probability that I go left is a third. The cells at the bottom show me how many successes I've had, so if I end up in the far right cell, that's no successes, one success, two successes, three successes, four successes, five successes, six successes, seven successes, eight successes, nine successes, ten successes, and so on. This is how a question would look in an exam. This is the question three from OCR Stats 2 from June 2012. It is known that on average, one person in three prefers the colour of a certain object to be blue. In a psychological test, 12 randomly chosen people were seated in a room with blue walls and asked to state independently which colour they preferred for the object. Seven of the 12 people said that they preferred blue. Carry out a significant test at the 5% level of whether the statement on average one person in three prefers the colour of the object to be blue is true for people who are seated in a room with blue walls. So this exam question is the same setup as we've got here. There are 12 people and we've got 12 rows of pegs. The probability that they like blue is a third. The probability that we go left is a third. And we're saying that seven out of the 12 people like blue. So that's saying that we've gone left seven out of 12 times. So we've ended up in this column here. And the question is, well, that's more than I'd expect, but how likely is it? So I'm going to run the machine and we can see what the machine says. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. You can see that we don't have very many coming into this seventh column, but we do have some coming into it. OK, so let's go back to the question. As it's a hypothesis test, the first thing that we need to do is we need to write down our null and our alternate hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is because it says on average one person in three prefers the colour of the object to be blue, we're going to say the probability of success is equal to a third. And my alternate hypothesis is that the probability of success is not equal to a third. So this is going to be a two-tailed test. Now if it was a normal distribution, I would be recommending drawing the normal distribution. However, the binomial distribution is a bit harder to draw, so I don't really suggest that you draw it. Here I've put it onto the screen. You can see that our successes go zero successes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the one we're looking at specifically. And the question is, is this an unusual probability to get? And how we're going to do that is we're going to find the probability of being on this side, because I know that I'm expecting my mean to be four, is the probability that I get seven or more less than two and a half percent? Because it's two tailed. So if I think about my rejection region, here's a quick sketch of my normal distribution. Normally we'd be saying this bit's two and a half percent, this bit's two and a half percent. What's the probability that I am inside this section? Well, because we don't have a nice way of doing it, we're going to have to find the probability that I'm on this cipher line here at two, my two and a half percent. So we are going to calculate the probability that my number of successes is greater than or equal to 7. So let's call the examiner that we know that this is a binomial distribution. So we're going to say x is a binomial distribution where n is 12 and the probability of success is a third. And we're looking for the probability that x is more than or equal to 7. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to work out what I'm going to use for my tables. How I do this is I write the numbers out around 7. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
and I'm looking for more than or equal to 7. But our binomial tables do less than or equal to. So this is going to be less than or equal to 6, but that's finding the section which we don't want. So I'm going to have to do 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. And if I have a look on my table, here we've got the table, this is straight from the formula book. You can see we found where n is 12, we're looking for the probability of a third, and we're looking for 6. So this is 0 0.9336. So I'm just going to use that number. So we have the probability I'm going to get less than or equal to 6 is 0 0.9336, which means the probability that I get more than or equal to 7 is going to be 0 0.0664, which is about 6%. So we can say as a probability 0 0.0664 is greater than 0 0.025, and then we just need a statement at the end, something along the lines of there is insufficient evidence To reject H0. Therefore, there is insufficient evidence to say that our p value was wrong to begin with. Therefore, we're going to say that the probability that people prefer the colour of the object to be blue is 1 in 3.